Hey folks, Tracy here with Scrappy's Rustics, y'all. I finally get to show you the cargo. I haven't shut up about it for months and I've been making stuff. So here's just some pictures of it getting delivered. Y'all, when they had it on the first truck, they had it on backwards. Here is the inside of the cargo container we purchased. 8x20, those are the double doors to let yourself out. I don't know what we're going to do there. Came with lights. Oop, I don't know why it's blurry. Came with a couple lights. They did the spray, foam, electric, and somewhat rough cut bathroom. It's another light. The AC has heat as well. Two windows, electrical panel, a door. It's perfect for a um, safe house and a guest room. They can shower in the house. So pretty excited about uh, getting started on it and getting it finished up. Stay tuned. Here's the cargo in its final resting space. Y'all, that was a chore to get it there. And uh, what an ugly red and all different kind of dents. There's the hubs using that black industrial paint to uh, that we got for free. Y'all, it looks amazing black. Absolutely love it. Here's the cargo painted. We did it black since we had all that industrial black paint left. We might have just enough to do the floor, and I do think I'm going to do paint inlays on the floor. We'll see about that. That's going to be a job, so we'll see. Oh, why is it doing that? There we go. Still got to paint the trim white, but I'm loving it. It looks so much better than that ratty orange, red, and all different other colors. I purchased three gallons of this white paint from Walmart. Y'all, it was pretty good stuff. I used a lot of caulk and three gallons of paint. This is just some pictures. Uh, we hired somebody to do put up the paneling and also do the trim work. But man, what an amazing difference some caulk and paint makes. Absolutely love it. And the floor was really in rough shape, but we just patched some of the bigger screw holes. We are making progress. We're pretty much done in here. I got a few things... I want to do something with that um, electrical box, maybe make it white so it blends in a little more. But um, for the most part, the caulking and the painting is done in here. I got to do the door. That door is metal, so I got to use a different paint. Also got to do the outside trim of the door. The floors, I patched here and there. I got some more patching to do and definitely sanding, but it's coming along nice. The bed's kind of raw there because, uh, you know, all the construction going on. Trundle underneath, new mattresses, kept the plastic on there so that way, <laughs> as construction happens, it um, doesn't get all jacked up. So here's the bathroom. That I'm still painting. I'm going to do this side of the door. Um, and I got up there yet to do. Oh, and down there. Yeah, got some more to do in here. There's my wonderful shake. <laughs> Make me big and strong. Yeah, I got more paint painting to do in here, but it's all caulked up for the most part and uh, ready to be painted. So we're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. I decided to do the inside of the door with Dixie Bell's Vintage Duck Egg Green just to make everything cohesive. I'm really glad I did because it really breaks up the white. Um, it went on nicely. I sealed it. I did all the things. Um, I'm so happy to have you along on this 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 adventure with us. It really came out amazing. So we had leftover black industrial paint, so I just did the floor with that. And man, that covered nice, real nice. And here's me uh, putting it all together. I like to have everything out um, so I can see what I, what I have and what I can use and put here and put there and take this down and move that there. And I usually hang things up by tack so I'm not committed to screw holes in case I don't like it. It's just a little hole and... Uh, yeah, it was all a process, y'all. We still need a few things, but um, I love it, and I can't wait for you to see the uh, the whole reveal. It's really awesome. I hope you enjoy it. It's finally done, y'all. I cannot wait to show you. Here's a porch we built. Nothing fancy, but uh, it does the job, that's for sure, and uh, also helps with stepping in instead of putting a step, so it's perfect. That way, somebody wants to sit out here. We got some chairs we got to put out here, have some coffee or whatnot, but let's go in. Woohoo! So excited to show y'all. This is such a fun project. Still a few more things I'd like to decorate with. I thought I had too much and to my surprise, I didn't have enough. So that's exciting. That cabinet was a trash curbside find I did about two years ago. That door right there leads to the bathroom. This is 
I got this at the, um, oh, you can see me. I got this at the consignment uh, antique store and it was already colored duck egg, uh, vintage duck egg blue. Who knew, right? So I still have some tchotchkes and stuff I want to put in there. So I just did a little decorating. So pegs, some candles, all those candles are, are timers, so they'll come on automatically. And this is going to be our guest house and safe house from storms and whatnot. So I did that chair. There'll be a video coming out on that. I've got to kind of stand right here for right now so I can show you what I can show you. Ooh. And there is, uh, I picked the bed up and on Amazon along with two mattresses, there's a trundle that rolls out underneath. So if, um, and it pops up to turn into like a queen size bed. So all they have to do is take, move those two things and um, it'll roll out and pop up no problem. It's got a little old antique uh, side table and a little, I don't know what there. Put some shelves up behind the bed there. Painted everything in white. Did the floor in black paint. We bought this cheap rug um, just to have a rug. And then a little, thank you, been thankful when you come in. So now that I'm inside, I did the, look at how pretty on oh, the AC blew this curtain. Oops, sorry about that. AC blue. But aren't these beautiful? They match perfectly and there's a freaking fly in here. I got these beautiful crystals for my birthday from Beth. Thank you, Beth. I got one in each window. Oh, and I got spun around too. So just really cute, really homey, really peaceful. I got that comforter at Target years ago in their shabby chic collection. I just love it. Baskets with some flowers. We made that, or I made that. I got a fast video a while ago. Made that. Reverse decoupage on glass. <laughs> There's the other window and some little corals, and there's the other crystal. And then this, there's the electrical panel, and that is a heat and AC. I did turn it off. It is a little loud, but I mean, it came with it. It works great, so I'm not gonna argue. About it. I'm not sure about that. We did that board as paint inlays. God, like two, over two years ago. It's hiding the plug for the um, AC. It's the only reason I have it there now, but we'll see. I might change that. I might possibly put a transfer on that uh, <laughs> electrical panel. So they've got coffee and tea, a uh, little refrigerator there. We put a decoupage on, I'm not decoupage, a IOD transfer, just a little something, something. They need fresh water for their coffee. There's a bunch of little stuff in that little box that I made that I love, you know, just the necessities. Still need something for this wall. Um, again, I might put a transfer there. I'm not sure. A little trash can. This is the door to the bathroom. We made that guy. And uh, this doesn't, it doesn't look bad in here. I'm glad I had a home for it because it was just sitting in the other cargo storage and, you know, not doing anything. Look at this guy. <laughs> he's on the floor right there because he holds the bathroom door open. So, um, yeah, so he's perfect for that. So let's go see. Look at a good job he does. Good job, squirrel. I painted him rose gold. <laughs> All right, so here is the potty. Ooh, we did that toilet paper uh, rack. Made a lot of stuff in here. It was so fun, um, so inspiring. And, uh, you know, I wanted it shabby chic, but like I said, we do have a lot of guy friends. So I didn't want to make it too foo-foo. Um, so I think I did a nice balance. And you know, if the guys don't like it, well, they can, you know, go sleep in a tent. <laughs> nice, nice new toilet. All of this was uh, part of this when we, we bought it, the plumbing, the electrical. The trash can we did, uh, the sink that came with it as well, and then the mirror that I bought and uh, painted it duck egg, vintage duck egg blue, and some white wax and our fairies. So yeah, so I could use a little something here and there. Here's what it looks like from the bathroom. So it's eight by twenty or nine by eight by twenty, eight by twenty, eight by twenty, and nine feet ceilings I believe, nine feet high. Could be seven. I don't know, but it's nice. It's a nice space. It's nice and homey, and uh, it feels good in here. And it's going to be perfect for any guests. Now they won't feel, you know, we have, we live in a tiny home, so it gets a little cramped up. So this is absolutely perfect. They got their own space. Look at my little crystal tree. Isn't that pretty? I'll decorate it come Christmas. <laughs> so there you have it, y'all. This is the cargo that we've been working on for a long time, and I'm super, super 
excited about the way it came out. It actually came out much better than I thought it would. I was really worried, um, you'll, as you saw in the beginning of the video, <clears throat> it, how terrible it kind of looked with all the, the, the wood and against the white paneling just wasn't a good look. So lots and lots of caulk, two coats of paint, and uh, this, this is the end result. I ended up painting the door vintage duck egg blue, which I'm glad I did that uh, because I really think it ties it all in together nicely. And then we put a special outlet in here, you know, because every day people need, you know, you don't, we don't use just regular outlets anymore. We need the USBs and all that stuff. So that way they can just set their stuff there. And uh, yeah, so the bed, it's not centered because I wanted them to be able to pull the, the trundle out without having to move too much. So again, they just got to move those two pieces and it pops right out. It's perfect fit. So yeah. Awesome. Awesome. You guys, thanks a lot a lot for coming along on this uh, adventure with me and who the heck knows what's next, right? You never know what I'm going to be up to.